Hey, I'm in the condo with my peers, come with chandeliers. Selling dope with my peers, really in the field. Baby scared of the dick, she gotta face her fears. New shit to test the rosa, come with extra gears. All black Mercedes wheels, come with sex appeal. Been popping bottles for some years, and we yelling chills. Foreign hey, car, not a kill, that's just how that is. They do feel like they're going to I don't, I be missing you. I, 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 I be fiending for my such, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> For real, for real. How was your show? Um, you did a show in Alabama with DJ Unk on Saturday, right? Uh uh. That's all. Oh, that was Panama City. That was Panama City. Okay, so you be working so much, I can't keep up with yeah. you. How was your show with DJ Unk in Panama DJ City? Panama City. Uh, we performed with Gorilla Zone. That was dope. Um, okay. The show does love as usual. Um, club Lavina is actually the largest club in the world. It's what? Huge. Damn, what's it the capacity like looking like over there? It wasn't it wasn't packed. It wasn't packed. But I'm just saying, like what what how many people can hold this a large one? Any idea? It's gotta be like a thousands. Yeah, like ten thousand. Damn. Damn. Outdoor. Because it's 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 an indoor outdoor. Every night. It's indoor outdoor and they have other indoor clubs inside of the clubs. Oh. Clubs inside of clubs inside of clubs. I got it. I feel you. Like the outdoor part of where we performed at where the stage is and the main stages. There's a, a a swimming pool that's to all the side of this building in the middle of in the middle of the uh, whole club. You said that's in Panama City. In Panama City. Wow. Okay. Club of Eden. So yeah, we had a uh, me and um, DJ Chill Will and Dave Skills. We did an event down in Valdosta Thursday right, that was really right. dope. Packed that bitch out. Shout out Hollywood Evans came through. So we're gonna be doing that one every other month. You know what I'm saying? It I'm was, make sure I make the next. It one. was very successful. It just made sense for us to to do it on an ongoing basis. But trying to drive back, oof, I'm telling you, I was right tired. Along. We got some special guests in the All building right. today. Y'all go ahead and introduce yourself. Let everybody know who you are, where you checking in from. What's good? Y'all know what the addition was. She said, well, you know, I'm out of the I'm bank head to You know what I mean? I help with the music, movies, all that good shit. You be working. Yeah, we trying to. We trying to put it together. Oh, hold on a second. We got to stop. Wait. Such and I are going to stop you right there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I heard that fuck me. All right, know where we going with it. Where you going with it? We out here making it happen. We ain't oh, trying to. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, don't try yeah. shit. Yeah, do it. Take that word the yeah. entire fuck exactly. out of your vocabulary. Yeah, Such and yeah. I be like, yeah. when you try shit, it don't never work. You just exactly. gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta make it more fucking happen. happen. You gotta claim like that shit. Yeah, 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 he, 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 he knew what was going on. Yeah, what was going on. He knew what was going on. What's going on? Introduce yourself. This is Tronzai, um, CEO of Tronzai Media, representing Southwest Atlanta by way of Lithonia, Georgia. Um, just working, man. We out in the streets working and doing our thing. So uh, when you see us out here with our DVD, CD, whatever, you know, holla at us. Y'all out here making moves. So we got a lot to talk about today because you got music, Swat. you got movies and all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So like, let's just kind of step yeah, back yeah, a little real, bit. Real. Start from the beginning. Like, how yeah. did y'all get started in the entertainment business, you know, covering music and movies? For me, when it came to for me, when it came to the music, I started off with my crew, you know what I mean? My cousin and two other partners of mine. Okay. You know, I mean? you know how I go at the beginning? I'm in the street. Yeah. At first. You know, they go, you know how I go. Come on, rap, man. Come on, rap. I'm laughing at the rap. I'm like, well, niggas ain't got no money. You know how I go. Yeah. Back then, especially in them days, you know what I mean? So I was like, man, I ain't going to no studio. I'm going like, to go to the spot. You know what I mean? That's shit I was saying, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I thought, why I got it now? I got my foot wet. The first song I did was terrible. And my uncle made sure he told me over and over It'd be again. like that in the you beginning. You see what I'm saying? saying? It ain't supposed but, to be good uh, in the beginning. But yeah, you know how I go, though. But, you know, after a while. He kept real with you. Exactly. Keep it real. That would have got me a point, though. You know what I'm saying? I can't play with it from me. You know what I'm saying? So I got in the field. You know, a few things started happening. We got a little situation with BMS. You know what I mean? Me, young him, and with my cousin. You know what I mean? To a bike. Bike the gun. I don't know if y'all know him or her, though. But you know him. Uh, so we started moving, and everything been on since then. You know what I mean? After that broke up, I, I started my own label, uh, Street Made Entertainment or whatever. I started doing my own thing, brought a few artists, and took off running. You that's know what dope. So, I always. That's a music side thing. Yeah, I talk about that a lot to artists. I'm like, if you can start your own label and sign yourself, and you know, maybe yeah. the immediate people around you. Cause these big labels ain't doing shit for these exactly. artists no more. They want to wait till artists catch a big buzz. But by that point, why do you need this? Exactly. You done built yourself up. Exactly. Sign yourself. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, That's what's up though. You got a you got a dope story. What about you? All right, we actually um, 
Oh, As you guys speak to, let everybody know who it is because you know people oh, can't yeah. see, they can hear. Okay. So I want to make sure they know who who they listening to. This trends I speak. In, um, actually, I was doing uh, really a few years ago, probably like five, six years ago. I was just uh, running around trying to get my feet wet with the video stuff. Uh, I had really just got back into it, and I met Sis, um, and we were, they were shooting a scene. Um, at this mansion out in Ben Hill, and such was there too. DJ, um, of course, he was. It was yeah, it was a uh, breaking the cycle movie with uh, Chill Gate. Shout out to Chill Gate. Shout man. out to Chill, man. man. And that's why I met Seth first, and we talked. And um, I think the next time I ran into him, we were actually doing a radio interview, but I was I was doing the uh, the visuals for it. Mm-hmm. So we chopped it up. I got his number, and we talked. And when I talked to him, I saw how his work ethic was. Right. And it impressed me. I was like, okay. And so we started moving around. And he said he had a movie done. Like he just needed somebody to come shoot it. So I was with it. We sat down. We shot the movie in the summer. Play by the rules. It's out in the streets now. Dope. It's on YouTube right now. And then we we had a talk and said, all right, where we want to go with this? I had I, while we were shooting uh, Play by the Rules, I was writing another movie, Metropolitan Girl. Boom, started shooting that right after that. And it was we just keeping it rolling. Like we have two more uh, projects lined up. He's writing pain right now. I have a, uh, another movie on right called Runaway Jack. Uh, you know, being in the music business really ties into being on the entertainment side as far as movies. And I think it's so important because there's a lot of longevity with that. Yeah. As a rapper, you kind of have a shelf life. Most of them do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't be 60 years old still rapping. You right. can. Right. I think it's changed a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Just a little bit. You, you can't. Like, yeah. Jay-Z, Jay-Z kind of changed. But he, like, he one out of how many? Right. He's two. two out of how many? You right. feel me? There's a million, bazillion. But I'm saying, like, as a as an actor or being in the movies, you can still be 85 doing exactly. that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I just think there's a lot exactly. more longevity. So, But look at a lot of the artists who have transitioned over into acting 50 Cent. You know, there's a yeah. lot of artists that transition because they know that there's more longevity into that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, absolutely, absolutely, you gotta, you know, facts. Like, you know, the thing is, like, you can cater that, though. Your audience is great. And there's so many outlets now for movies as well. Right. Like, we we're talking with exactly. Rich Black. It's not just about pulling up to your local movie theater. Like, there's so many streaming exactly. and digital outlets exactly. now to where you can place your movie at and get it seen, get it heard, all that stuff. So, that's dope that you guys are diving into that, you know, or right. you've been diving into right. that. You right. know what I'm saying? And we, we, we make it match. Right. Because the music in the movies is all music. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, you know, we are trying to put it out together. You know, we make it happen, you know what I mean? So, that's a double check. That's what's up, man. Mm-hmm. You gotta have multiple hustles. You do. You can't just do one thing in this world. Mm-hmm. No matter what it is that you do in life, you can't have just one hustle. Exactly. You gotta have multiple. Because there's so many different ways to make money out here. And you gotta create new ways. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, you guys are both originally from Atlanta? Yeah, right. I was born here, but I grew up in Latonia and moved back to. The but you've been in this, right? I've been I've been in Southwest for going on ten years now. So, so know. let me ask you this: with you guys being from the Atlanta area, doing what you do, how would you say that being in a city like Atlanta has really helped with what you guys got going on? <laughs> being in Atlanta, um, you really. You really have to be on point because it's a lot of competition out here. Thanks. So you look around, you try to you try to stay in your own tunnel, in your own lane, but you have to you have to come with it because, like I said, it's so many people out here grinding and doing their thing that if you're not on point, people gonna let you know and they're not gonna rock with you. They want your position, right? They're waiting for you to slow right. down so they can slide on in that motherfucker. Exactly. <laughs> That's facts. Exactly. Then you know, with me, it's more so. Of a, like for me, for instance, when I do my music, we like when we run through my music, the sound it ain't the typical not the sound. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the fight for me a little hard. You know what I mean? But at the same time, they shit bangers are bangers. Absolutely. It might not sound like you know what I mean. Classic. It might not sound like a I'm from the scene. That's what shit Ross drop on. Right. right. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So like that. Let's so come fix my mic. You know how I'm saying about <laughs> almost ten in tape live. You put 10 projects yeah, on every episode? I mean, you motherfuckers have been working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, let me ask you this, too. Like, when you put a record together, and if Such and I was to roll up on you at the studio, 
What is well, two? It's a two-part question, actually. What is your creative process for putting a song together? Do you typically write it first? Do you get in the studio and go? You do a little bit of both, and then the second part of the question is: If such and I pull up on you and you over here with Mr. Grio doing your thing, what's the vibe gonna be like? What can we expect when we roll up in there? My me me personally, my sessions. I like my sessions to be filled with sessions. Okay. I'm like them bored dead sessions. Well, you know what I mean. If you're not invited, you can't come in. at no point. But right. at the same time, you is invited sufficient. You know okay. We have a good time. Like, I want the energy up when I'm working. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes you feel good. Energy, you know what I mean? And it, it reflects inside it. your music. You got the bullshit, kind of lit. You know what I mean? That's cool. Cause I go to some producers and work with them, and that's the that's the environment. But when it's mine, when I'm in, when I'm running the show, I like to be lit a little bit. You know what I mean? Right. I work, especially if I'm working on banking. You know what I mean? I want to feel like what we're taking the like, tennis to the club and they feel like the club, right? And when you work on Baby scared of the dick, she got a face of feels. New shit to test the roaster, come with extra gills. All black Mercedes wheels, come with sense of pill. Been popping bottles for some years and we yelling chills. Foreign car, not a kill, that's just how it is.